There's a lot of talk about the metaverse out there at the moment. With Facebook changing its name to Meta and every other company seeming to jump on board, you might be wondering how we're all going to get to the metaverse. Qualcomm thinks it has the answers and we caught up with Hugo Svart, the head of XR at Qualcomm at Mobile World Congress 2022, to talk about the metaverse, XR and everything in between. But what is the metaverse? Let's ask Hugo to explain. Hi, I'm uh, Hugo Swart. I run our XR business at Qualcomm. Metaverse is the new internet. It's the internet that you can experience not only in a 2D screen, but you are inside of it. So really the metaverse bridges the physical world and the digital world into one. So the metaverse is a virtual world where anything can happen, but it's impossible to talk about the metaverse without talking about how we might access these virtual worlds. You'll have heard the term VR and AR, but you might not have heard about XR, or the newest edition which is called Mixed Reality. Qualcomm's expert was at hand to explain. So let me start by defining XR. XR is an umbrella term uh, covering a spectrum of realities, going from augmented reality, glasses that I can see through, you know, transparent glasses where I have augmentation with virtual content, to then virtual reality, where is a device that is fully occluded, I get fully immersed in the experience, and now new devices are being introduced that are defined as mixed reality, where a VR looking device has a camera that enables me to see the real world in a VR headset, you, ha you can see the real world in the display of the VR headset. So now you can mix and match you know, the real world where you are with the digital world. Qualcomm's expert gave us a great explanation for what this actually means. There are plenty of options, from the enclosed VR experiences we've been enjoying for a couple of years like Oculus Quest, through to Microsoft's HoloLens, which overlays virtual environments over the top of the real world that you're physically in. Both these devices are powered by Qualcomm, so it seems like the company is well-placed to take everyone to the metaverse. Indeed, the company goes as far as saying it is the ticket to the metaverse. But what does that actually mean? So for mixed reality, you know, we see all the way from consumer applications like um, gaming, like fitness, collaboration. You know, you being represented as an avatar, being able to talk to other people across the world as if you were there. But then there are also many enterprise, business to business application in the, in the field of manufacturing, in the field of uh, medical, uh, corporate training, the applications are endless. And that's an important point. It's not just about the hardware or the headsets or the chips that power them. It's about the virtual world you're going to be entering. To help these virtual worlds come to life, Qualcomm has announced something called Snapdragon Spaces. This will give developers the tools they need to build the metaverse. We are the ticket to the metaverse because um, our technology, our platform enables all these types of devices. We already today launched more than 50 VR and AR devices using our platform. But in addition to that, we also have technology that we expose to developer, to creators, um, to have them create the applications, the content, the experiences in the metaverse. So we are a key enabler for the metaverse. That's why we refer Qualcomm as the ticket to the metaverse. And what are we going to be doing in these virtual worlds? We've seen some entertainment and gaming applications of VR, but there seems to have been an explosion in business and industrial applications too. So where is the metaverse headed? Is it going to be for everyday fun or just for business? It's actually both. Um, in consumers, again, with, uh, with gaming, fitness, social applications, you know, just last uh, month, I've watched an NBA game uh, using a virtual, virtual reality headset. I watched a, a music concert in virtual reality. So in consumer, we see growth, but then in, uh, in enterprise segment as well, uh, things like uh, stroke rehabilitation. Um, if you are be your new employee that needs to learn how to use a complex, dangerous machine, do it first in VR. So there are many applications that are being developed uh, for virtual reality in the enterprise segment that we also see strong growth. So there we have it. 
the metaverse is out there, and whether you're playing games, talking to friends, or training for a new job, there'll be a metaverse experience enabled by companies like Qualcomm for you to explore.